Hey, what's up guys? Uh, Travis here, back. I want to do a, uh, a video doing kind of like a cigar review of a particular type of cigar that I haven't seen very much on YouTube, at least when I search for them. And what they are, are these, um, they're by Villiger. So Villiger, a lot of us pipe smokers know Villiger from their 1888 uh, blends, the midday, the cocktail hour, the late night, um, but they also make scars. I think that's what they kind of did first. But anyway, uh, these are a box of dry cured cigars, or it was. Now it's a box of one dry cured cigar. And I, I think I may have put up videos before with me smoking one, but not really talking about them. I know I did a cigar review on a Denobly dry cured cigar. I wanted to talk about these. Um, so it's, it says here, Swiss quality since 1888. Uh, they have five pressed cigars made in Switzerland, export uh, Havana seed naturals. Uh, it says fine leaf tobacco. Um, it doesn't say here, but I am almost positive by the wrapper that these are machine rolled. But um, I have to say that this is the closest thing I have found to a regular handmade, hand-rolled cigar. And, I mean, both in what it looks like. I don't know if you can see very well by the light. Um, but they're just about, uh, I don't know, maybe four, four, four and a half inches long. They burn with the same quality that a hand-rolled cigar does, um, so timing's not an issue. I love that they're dry cured because you don't have to keep them in a humidor. This is the fifth one out of the box, and I've had no problems um, as far as burn quality or the taste has been consistent in each one. It's not a complicated cigar, so if you're into that, then that's not what this is for, but it's a, a slightly shorter smoke. It's bigger and more fuller than a cigarillo is going to be, um, but uh, I, I think I think it's a good smoke. It's a good quality um, smoke, but it, but it's not complicated. It, I mean, it's mild. I have the natural. Uh, I can't remember what the other kind that they have is, but um, I don't, maybe it's just plain Maduro. But it, I, I was thinking that it's something different. But anyway, it smells very nice. It's it has that, just kind of that woodsy, just that kind of woodsy aroma uh, that a lot of cigars would have right out of the humidor. So, I'm going to get this one lit up and get rolling, and I'll do a review as we go along. Um, if any of you guys have smoked these before, uh, please feel free to comment, make a video response, because I just haven't seen much on YouTube about that. Uh, also, these are incredibly cheap, which is great. They're cheaper then like they're cheaper than backwoods or most definitely anything you're going to get at the gas station um i think this box of five of these cost is it's under five dollars i think um at pipesandcigars.com so i recommend that now before you guys get all upset i know that a zippo lighter is uh, not whoops got a text it's not at all the way to light a cigar but it's the lighter i have so It's just a little bit breezy out tonight. And these toast up really nice. Uh, like I said, haven't had any issue with burn quality, so hopefully this one won't disappoint either. But anyway, it's been a long day. Got those floors painted that I needed to. And now gonna end the day with a cigar so anyway that's it for now I'll come back maybe around halfway talk a little bit more about it but right off the bat it's just you know that woodsiness is there it's a very creamy smoke it kind of lasts in the mouth for a while um, Yeah, it's, it's just a good, 
it's it's there's a lot of flavor, but it's very mild. It's not overpowering, but it's yeah, it's just kind of creamy. Anyway, there's my very non aficionado review so far, but I'll be back later. All right, so I'm back. I'm about oh, about halfway through. And the, and the flavor uh, really hasn't changed a whole lot. Uh, that's that's one of the things I, I like about this. You don't. It's. I'm not really big into smoking just for the nicotine, so I like to just enjoy it. Um, but that doesn't necessarily mean that I want it to be complicated and changing flavors and everything all the time, either. So uh, this just provides that kind of. It's not very spicy at all. It's just kind of that woodsy, I guess I would say, kind of mossy or leathery um, kind of flavors to it. Um, it has a nice, I think it has a nice aroma coming off um, the end of the stick also. So, But yeah, it's just nice and consistent. So... Um, that's about it, not a whole lot else to say about it, but um, Villiger Dry Cured Cigars. If you have tried these, let me know what you think, make a video response. Uh, if you haven't tried them and you like cigars, uh, gosh, they're, they're just so darn cheap. Like I said, a box of five, if you buy a, a larger amount, of course they get cheaper. Um, like, with, like with buying a box of cigars instead of singles, it's the same way, but Gosh, I really recommend trying these. Pick, your, pick yourself up a box of these. I wish I could remember the exact price on PipesAndCigars.com, but they're really cheap. Uh, definitely recommend it. So, dry, dry cured cigars. A little bit different, but still really good. So, that's it for tonight. Uh, we'll see you guys next time.